He had a charisma all of his own. He really did. And he loved people, and people loved him. And, you know, it all was magic. Once he got to the race course, he was a sort of horse that his blood was boiling, he was on his toes, he knew what he was doing, he knew where he was at. He was a true race horse, a true performer. He was out there to do his best. starts fast on the inside with Sonny Laird and uh, Go Continental moving up on the outside with Beggar's Way. Then comes Black Secret with General Simons on his outside and Richelieu and Glenn Kill. And it's Rouge Autumn leading them. Crisp has gone right up there with Sonny Laird on the inside. Then comes Hurricane Rock. Then Mildor over on the far side with Emma's following Beggar's Way. And it's Crip still well clear from Grace Umbrero, then comes Endless Folly, then Black Secret, then Tarquin Bid, then Rouge Autumn, then Sunny Laird, then Red Rum just in behind the leaders. And as they jump the water, Crisp is a long way clear of Endless Folly. And as Endless Folly jumps in second, then comes Red Rum behind him. Crisp is a long way clear of the remainder, headed at the moment by Endless Folly, Rouge Autumn, Red Rum, then Sunny Laird and Great Noise. Secret. Harry can rock. Meanwhile, Chris back to ditch the 19th. He stood right back. He jumped it well. And he's right out in front still. A red round second. Rouge Autumn is third. Spanish steps fourth. Tarkin bid his fifth. Great noise is sixth. Then endless folly and back Fantastic ride he's having. I can't remember a horse so far ahead in the Grand National at this stage. Jumping that second was Red Rock. And for the second time. Chris, the top weight, Richard Pittman, over it in tremendous style. And he's about 20 lengths clear from Red Rock in second place. As Chris jumps the canal turn, and he's over it clear. He's still 20 lengths clear from Red Rock in second. Long, long way ahead from Red Rock second and Crisp over that one to one off the bone. He's a jump, he's well clear of Red Rock, he's made a bit of ground, Spanish steps is third. Crisp still well clear with 
two fences left to jump in the 1973 National and this great Australian chaser Chris with 12 stone on his back and 10 stone 5 on the back of Red Rum who's chasing him and they look to have it absolutely to themselves at the second last and Chris is over and clear of Red Rum who's just jumped it a long way back in third are Spanish Steps and Hurricane Rock and Rouge Autumn and then the Skogo but coming to the final fence in the National now and it's Chris still going in great style with 12 stone on his back he jumps it well Red Rum is about 50 minutes behind him as he drops it. And Nick Whitman coming to the elbow now in the national. He's got 250 yards to run. And Chris just wandering a little off the two line now. He's been the loose concentration. He's been out there on his own for so long. That Red Rum is making ground on him still as they come to the line. It's a hot ball on the run now. 200 yards now for Chris, but Red Rum still closing on him. And Chris is getting very tired. That Red Rum is holding up. Red Rum is the one that's finished. He's going to get up. Red Rum is going to be the last And at the line, Red Rum has just snatched it from Crisp, and Red Rum is the winner. And Crisp is second. Les Gargo's just coming up now to be third. It's going to be a very near thing for fourth, with Spanish Steps just being fourth as his damn watch once. by 23 pounds in weight and bred on opposite sides of the world broke the 39-year-old track record by almost 19 seconds.